Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Jacksoft to another adventure. So a while back, we went on an adventure on Highway 49 where we saw a lot of old gold mining towns, but more importantly, remnants of old Chinatowns and Chinese history. Well, you see, Highway 49 is kind of long, so last time we only managed like halfway from Oakhurst to Plymouth. Well, today we have the opportunity to finish the rest of Highway 49. We will go from Auburn to the northern tip. And there should be a lot more remnants of old Chinatown and Chinese history there and gold mining towns too. So if you want to learn more about Chinese history here in Northern California, then join me as Jack's off to Highway 49 again and let's go. All right, so the first stop, we made it to Auburn and there's a Joss house over here, but is it open? Saturday 10 to 2.30. Nope, it's closed. But here it is, a historic old Joss house in Auburn. And for those of you who don't know what a Joss house is, it's pretty much like a temple kind of where Chinese people, they can fulfill their superstitions and pray to your deities. As you can see, I mean, it's too bad we can't see inside, but why can't we? No. You got some uh, cool newspapers here, help wanted. So if you want to be a docent, please come to Auburn. Well, that's a bummer, but check out this part of Auburn though. You got bars, old brick buildings, and whatever that thing is. And you also have the fall foliage. Very beautiful, good for photography. But we're not done here in Auburn yet, so let's go check out the next spot. So I've mentioned this many times before, but the Chinese people in this area back then, they were mining for gold or building the railroad, so check it out. Here in the Railroad Museum, you have a statue of a Chinese guy mining, and here we have a railroad, the Southern Pacific. So check it out, the Chinese coolie. This is this statue. So check out this display, a Chinese guy. Miners for hire. You had miners from South America, Mexico, China, and other parts of Europe. Chinese history here, guys, here in Auburn. This doesn't really explain what it is, but it's written in Chinese though. It's gonna be like money or something, what is this? Water and mining co. Yeah, I think this is like an old check or something. Across the Pacific with Ayi. Ayi is really auntie, but I'm sure this is someone's name, but it tells you the history and story of them coming over here from China to California. And then this was their possession, chopsticks. <laughs> Very Chinese. <laughs> also got a map of, what is this? Guangdong province. Yeah, where it came from. Twitter from 1857 by Pong Wing Ui. My store in Sacramento Street is doing great, but I really want to head back home to China one day, like soon. There were other interesting artifacts like this opium pipe, stoneware bottle used for storing soy sauce or wine, and the Erhu, the Chinese violin. After checking out the museum real quick, let's continue on with our journey up north. Now we're at Grass Valley, where there's a gold miner's inn. Right in front of the hotel is a plaque about Grass Valley's Chinatown that no longer exists. According to the plaque, the Chinatown here was second only to San Francisco's at one point, so there used to be a lot of Chinese people here. I don't think there are any Chinatown remnants left here, so let's continue on. Made it here to Nevada City and check it out. Over yonder, that used to be the Chinese quarter over there. This one or this one, one of these two. And the reason why we're here, check out this plaque. So honor the Chinese pioneers of Nevada County. And you actually have a Chinese plaque. This looks beautiful. And this is like a little garden. You got a pond, you got plants, you got a rock. 
Check it out, guys. So we took a detour off of Highway 49. We are now in a place called French Coral, where there used to be a Chinese population here. But we are here for this. The World's Fargo Express 1853. Check it out. We saw one in Chinese camp, but I think this is the only highlight here now. Just check it out. An old bank. Off in the middle of nowhere, kind of. Well, we have our Chinatown enthusiasts here. Well, it's not a Chinatown. I'm not enthusiastic. My bad. Alright, let's get out of here. We've made it to the small town of Downeyville. Check this out, guys. It's a cute little town right here. With the mountain as backdrop, you got a cocktail place. Another Chinatown enthusiast, the same way. You got bridges. And a modern day Wells Fargo. Check it out, guys. How's it going? How are you? Alright, guys. So we have the Downeyville. Museum right here. It is closed, unfortunately. But this used to be an old Chinese store. Check it out. It was first used as a Chinese store with gambling and opium in the back. And what were Chinese people doing here? Aside from mining gold, they were also doing lumbering and a lot of woodwork. So it's another thing in Chinese history here in America. Check out those like mist amongst those places. Wow. The fire department at Downingville, Coca-Cola, this is cute. Yeah, just go this way to the to the street. Uh -huh. It goes up. Go across the bridge, and go up this little hill, and it's right there. Okay. Yeah. Also, thank you. Thank you. Happy day. The Durgan Bridge, 1938. Very historic. Wow. Imagine when there's snow here. It must be beautiful. It's like a fort here. So, for that gentleman earlier, this is the courthouse. One of the main attractions of Downeyville. Check it out, they got two cannons up here. Cannon one and two. I wonder what happened here. Well, actually, at some point, they wanted Downeyville to be one of the capitals of California, but I guess it didn't work out. It's like all the way here, too. And here's the other attraction he mentioned the place where the last guy in California was hung or hanged. Sorry, English no good, but right here. The last hanging in 1941. Well, what a cute little town here, hidden in this parts of the mountains. I think we're done here, so let's get out of here, continue on on our adventures. getting dark here but we're in Sierra City and check it out. Wanli Changchen, Wanli Changchen, the Great Wall of China, what? 
the monument is placed to honor the early Chinese people of Sierra County who gave so much of their labor to the settlement of the West and this cold country. Check it out. Chinese people were here too. Wow. I really like the, the Chinese like carving over here though. Though it should have been like in traditional writing. What the hell? <laughs> Check it out guys. So, we're in a town called Loyalton. Check out this small town vibe right here. Switching to the BBC for better lighting, but over there you can see little kids climbing up to the fire trucks. That might be the reindeer sleigh over here. Oh. How you doing? Hey, pretty good, you? Yeah. Hey, I'm from out of town. I was just wondering, is this like a event every year that happens here? Every year, yeah. So what happens? Do they just put kids on a fire truck and then you drive them around and stuff? Well, the, the kids all ride the fire truck, you know, oh. all around town. We do this every year. Every year this time, or is it like every weekend during Christmas, or what? Just today. Oh, okay. Uh, this is uh, the Christmas lighting today, so. Okay. Well, thank you, sir. Thanks thank for you. Yeah. All right. So check this out. This is the line to take a photo with Santa Claus in front of the tree. This is actually really photogenic, I gotta say. Wow. Oh no way, they got the Christmas bulldozer. So I guess all the cars or vehicles that they used to like work here is converted into holiday festivities. Wow, I love this. After Loyalton, it was a short drive to Vinton, the northern end of Highway 49. We did it guys, this is it! But there's nothing here and it's kind of anticlimactic to end the video right now, so let's head into Reno first. Check it out guys, I'm going to be staying here for a night, 69 degrees, nice. Alright, let's get my stuff down first, give you guys a quick room tour. Walk in, here's the bathroom, ooh, this is clean, wow, check out this sink, it's deep. You can wash your hair here too if you want to, ah, toilet, too bad no bidet though, not like, you know, Asia, wow, very nice like shower, too bad it's not a tub though. Cute little trash can, more towels. This means there must be a towel enthusiast hotel. Check it out. Towel, towel, towel. Towel, towel, towel. Wow, cute little room here. What's well, nice and small. For reference, this is 150 bucks a night, kind of expensive. Ooh, got a little kitchen net here. Oh. So you got the cups. Any drinks in here? Nope. No water like Thailand or Asia. <laughs> You got more cups here, you got salt and pepper, so... Huh. Wow, this is a very nice microwave. Some trash can. Is this, what the hell is this? Scrub mommy? Oh. I doubt people are gonna come and use like dishes here. You got a little detergent, towel. Ooh. Jesus? Where would Jesus be at? Here. No. No Jesus. No. Oh. But check it out, you got a working station here. I wonder why they have this little table when they have this big table. Not bad, wow. Whew. What a day, what a long day of driving, but it's fun though. Well, I didn't really want to end the video here because there's actually another point of interest in Reno, well not in Reno, but in Sparks. So I guess we'll end the video tomorrow. So for tonight, we're just going to hang out and do some Reno stuff. Man, <laughs> I feel old man, but yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the morning.
Actually, way back in the days, there used to be a Chinatown in Reno by the riverfront, the downtown area, but it's completely gone. Even so, nowadays, there's still a sizable Chinese population here in Reno because there's a lot of Chinese gambling enthusiasts, especially from the Bay Area, that come up here to Reno to gamble. And so you need to hire some Chinese casino managers and Chinese staff, and there's a lot of Chinese restaurants here. So the Chinese here today in Reno have completely assimilated, so life isn't too bad nowadays for them. So we visited a lot of Chinatowns in California, but there's also a lot of Chinatowns in Nevada that we have to explore in the future. So that'll be for a different time, different video. As for now, I think this will be it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this long journey of Highway 49 all the way from Oakhurst to Plymouth, and then from Auburn all the way to the Northern Tip. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, Jack's off.